What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today a lot of you have been waiting for is finally upon us, iOS 4.0, previously called iPhone OS 4 is here. So I want to give you a walkthrough and reintroduce you to some of the cool new features you're going to be getting on your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, although on some of those models you're not going to get all of these features. Let's go ahead and get started and one of the ones that for whatever silly reason I was most excited about is backgrounds. You can see I've got a new background, gone is the old static black. You can now set any image you want as your wallpaper. You can either pick different ones for your unlock screen and your background or use the same for both. Kind of fun. Although the biggest announcement about iPhone iOS 4.0 or iPhone OS 4 is the addition of multitasking which is finally here and it's accessed very simply. All you're going to do is double tap your home button and you now get a list of open programs. You can jump right to any of those any way you choose. Now uh, Apple and Steve Jobs said they want to eliminate the task manager. Although you are going to have to close programs, you can keep as many open as you like. There really isn't a set limit, but you are going to notice a severe battery drain. So if you want to close a program, you hold it down, it's going to do its little jiggly dance and you get that familiar sort of red little dash. You can go ahead and close whatever you would like. So you can now run Pandora in the background. You can run your uh, iTunes music in the background. You can run a GPS in the background. And speaking of music, if you are running music, and if you go all the way to the left, you're going to get a cool little widget here, which is going to let you control your music and also set your rotation lock. On the iPad, for example, you can set it so it won't auto-rotate. You can do that here as well. Go ahead and click it, and it's going to turn off the accelerometer. Tap it again. It's going to turn it back on. Hit the home button and all of your multitasking options are going to slide right back down. The next sort of nice addition we have is something called folders, which lets you stack and organize applications um, by like or whatever you would like to do with them. You can set up by games or utilities and all you're going to do is just take an icon and give it its little jiggly dance and you're going to drag it right over another icon and it's going to create a folder. It's got to automatically name it for you, but you can name it whatever you like. So things Bloomberg, my stock manager program is a game, but you can go ahead and name it whatever you like. Go ahead and close out of it. And if you want to open a folder, it's pretty self-explanatory. You open it up and there you go. And if you want to close that folder, get rid of it, you can just drag the icons right out and that folder is going to have one icon left. And if you go ahead and drag that one icon right out of the folder, the folder disappears. So the next feature is something a lot of people have been asking for, including me, and that is threaded emails. Oftentimes on in Gmail or my exchange account, I'd go back and forth with someone and I'd end up having to go through seven or eight or ten emails. It was great if I could just find one threaded message similar to what you see on the Gmail web application. So that is finally here. Here's a message that I had with uh, Sean. Go ahead and click through. We're talking about some Father's Day's posts on Techno Buffalo. And if you look, there's a little number right to the right that says three. So there are three in that thread. I can go ahead and open it up and I can view all the ones that are right there. You're also going to get a universal inbox and you're going to get a lot of more exchange support, including support for multiple exchange accounts. But I know it's going to be great for you corporate users. Uh, also, there's a presence of the game center, though I'm not so sure how functional this is going to be. We can go ahead and play games online with other people. And there was one feature that didn't really go uh, notice or without much fanfare. Universal Search has been a part of the iPhone operating system since 3.0, but now they've added this simple, simple ability, something that should have been there from day one, like most of these features, the ability to search the web. So let's say I wanted to search the web for candy, because who doesn't love candy? Spelled it wrong. Jump back. Candy. I can now search the web and I can get my search results. I'm taking me right to online, right into Google, and I can see what I'd like for searching. It makes it a lot easier instead of having to open up your browser, click in the upper right hand corner, tap what you want, search. Just a lot of features that are probably should have been there from day one. And this is the operating system update that I think really brings uh, Apple's platform to, uh, to competitive parity almost with the others. Uh, certainly Android and Palm Web OS have had multitasking and done it very well and offered a lot of these features that should have been there. Uh, no reason that changing the background should have been a feature we had to wait for operating systems to get, um, but so it is with Apple and those things are finally here. So you guys downloading iOS 4.0, are you happy with it? Do you like it? Are you not happy with it? Are you annoyed with it? Uh, is it working well for you? Uh, I want to hear from you, so leave your comments down below. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Check out the website for all of your tech news to create your own sub blog and even monetize it and put in your own AdSense code or talk to fellow users in our built-in social network. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.